Here on these streets, a castle in the sky looks over Los Angeles, California. The history of the Oviatt building spans over 80 years, even before the building itself existed. It seemed like it captured the essence of an age, the 1920s, like you would capture perfume in a bottle. Nothing was considered deco at the time. It wasn't really, it was just modern design. When you're in the middle of a movement, it's rather pretentious to decide that you're part of this movement. I don't think that a lot of these people saw how they were all interconnected. The Roaring Twenties were James Oviatt's salad days. He spent most of the decade planning his greatest achievement, the building of a world-class structure to house the Alexander and Oviatt haberdashery. This documentary reveals the people and events that helped shape its unique history. I can remember all of the beautiful display cases and the way they were displayed. I felt like it was a privilege to be here. And the Oviatt building was always very special. It was, it was a special building as we grew up. Alexander and Oviatt's new building attracted more movie stars than ever and would do so throughout the 1930s and 40s. Oviatt's prestigious customers included Winston Churchill and every U.S. president from Hoover to Johnson. My friend Ben got into an estate of a man who had a lot of Oviatt's merchandise. And it was amazing. What I saw, the quality of what I saw, these beautiful pieces, beautiful colors. In the early 1960s, Oviatt's virulent and increasingly public anti-Semitism was denounced by the Anti-Defamation League and the press and lost him hundreds of old customers. No one really knows why this gregarious man who built his reputation and fortune on relationships went on to do everything he could to sabotage them. James Oviatt had reached bottom, and on February 6, 1967, his store closed its doors forever. The Roman Catholic Archdiocese assumed ownership of the Oviatt building. The Archdiocese assumed that a buyer would demolish the building and build a parking structure. Where do they go? The smoke rings I below each night. I think we're we're proud that we recognize the historic importance of the building and the aesthetic importance of the building in addition to the financial importance of the building. This documentary reveals the people and events that helped shape its unique history. These buildings are phantoms, the echoes of a lost city. Los Angeles closed its eyes and left them behind. Look for them only in faded memories. This is the story of one that survived. Its creator called it the castle of our dreams, yet not even he could have imagined how many lives it would touch over the years. The Oviatt building has become one of Los Angeles' best loved 1920s landmarks, a place where we come to dream of the past. Smoke rings I love Please take me above With you